today we have here a deputy chairman of Estonian Conservative People's Party, uh, Martin Helman. Hello. Hello. So first of all, I would like to ask you, what are those main things that your party is standing for and also standing against? Just give us a little overview. Yes, um, it, it is. Uh, it is important that uh, we are uh, for things, uh, not just against things. What we are uh, especially keen on is the uh, sovereignty of Estonian Republic and the uh, uh, and the sovereignty of the Estonian people. This is actually enshrined in our constitution that the, the highest power belongs to the people, and um, uh, it is our view that. A, a nation state is the best form of government and uh, we want to preserve it and strengthen it. Uh, we are also, of course, um, as the name implies, we are conservatives. So uh, uh, it is important for us that we stand on a very strong ground of cultural heritage, which in Europe means Christian cultural heritage. And uh, that in itself brings along a lot of uh, sort of positions on, on moral issues um, and um, uh, when we come now to the sort of uh, everyday politics uh, we are um, we are very uh, strongly for um, uh, strong borders uh, we, we, we think it is uh, every nation's prerogative to decide who comes when comes for how long comes how many comes and uh, because Estonia has a small population, Estonians are a small nation, we, uh, we have a view that there should be a very small number of immigrants coming to Estonia anyway. <clears throat> we are also for traditional family. Uh, uh, we don't see uh, we don't see same-sex uh, relationships on par with uh, the traditional, uh, traditional marriage. And um, and also on uh, on an economic uh, uh, sort of the, the the third big thing is uh, is economic liberty or economic freedom that uh, we believe in capitalism. We still believe in capitalism. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned uh, you preserve Christian traditions. Uh, would you consider yourself as a Christian party? Um, we have a very strong uh, sort of. Um, Christian element into the both the platform of our party and, and the membership of our party, uh, and we have a, 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 a Christian sub-organization within the party, and I can say safely that most active Christians in Estonia are our voters, are our supporters. Um, on the other hand, uh, I don't think a, a political party should. Uh, should evangelize or should uh, should uh, should be on a, a, a sort of a missionary party this is uh, a job of a church or uh, or, uh, or religious leaders that um, we are the ones who are offering political solutions to this uh, or that um, moral issue okay uh, lately i see your party's popularity has increased very rapidly so i would ask um, who are those main supporters and which kind of society, a group of society they belong to? You said Christians mainly? Well, I'd, uh, I'd have to actually say that our support has been uh, rising very stably. That we've, uh, we are now on a strongly uh, third place in Estonian politics when it comes to popularity. And it's been a long road. We, we entered the parliament uh, four years ago. We were the smallest uh, uh, faction. And um, we, get, uh, we got 8% of the votes. We are now hovering around 20%. So um, over the past two, two and a half years, we have had a stable uh, rise. Um, uh, and. Um, if you want to describe our our voters, then I'd say it's the most average person of all. We uh, we we do we do uh, uh, polls, and we see that the um, vote the people who vote for us are average on income, average on education, average on family. So uh, in a way. 
we are the 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 most uh, uh, middle class party that you can imagine. Uh, be, there is a big chunk of our supporters who are uh, uh, small entrepreneurs, uh, self-employed. Uh, we've got a um, uh, regionally very well, a very diverse uh, uh, support. Our main support is in small towns. And, and rural areas, but we've, uh, we've picked up uh, in bigger towns, especially in Tallinn, uh, over over the years. Uh, if our support would were as high in the capital as it is around the, the rest of the country, we would definitely be uh, uh, the second biggest party in Estonia, at least. So, um, so it is in a way, it is a diverse uh, electorate that. Uh, people from all walks of life and with, uh, with all sorts of backgrounds and, uh, and income and, uh, and jobs. Um, but what is the common thread uh, that binds them all together, I think, is the, uh, uh, again, within uh, the party name. It's the National Conservative Party. It's the Estonian pat- patriots who, who value very highly uh, the, the way of life that we have had uh, thus far, and who who are who, who regard uh, our uh, Estonian culture and Estonian language and our uh, sort of uh, uh, ability to make our own decisions very highly. So, what what would you say? That, what was what is the reason why your popularity has increased lately? What kind of incidents have happened lately? Um, I think the. I think the sort of a uh, big underlying issue is that the, we've been in politics for en- enough now for people to have, um, uh, have, have to have gained the trust of the people. That when we um, four years ago when we entered parliament, we uh, duly acknowledged that this was a political credit that we were giving a, 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 we were given a chance to show what we're made of. And over the past four years, uh, I have uh, not met uh, people who've said that we are disappointed in you, I will not vote for you again. The overwhelming uh, uh, sort of a, uh, imp- uh, 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 feedback that I get from, uh, f- from all over the country is that uh, the best decision I've ever made in politics was to support you and and, uh, and also people who are com- in, uh, we are in a campaign right now uh, in a political campaign for parliamentary elections in March and I'm, uh, I'm doing sort of street campaign already and people come up to me and say that um, I've previously voted for this or that or the other party but um, uh, I am convinced now that they will not um, they will not fulfill their promises. They they are they are not trustworthy enough, and I've decided to switch my support to you. So what I say is that um, I think we've slowly but surely shown to the uh, Estonian people that um, to put it in the simplest way, we say what we think, and we 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 think what we say. So, uh, 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 sort of a uh, sincerity in our positions is, I think, uh, 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 one of the most important uh, uh, factors. Besides all the popularity and support, some people say that Ekra is kind of angry party, and they say you are homophobes and racist and xenophobes and. What would, what would you say about this? Well, um, uh, I think uh, the angry part is just a silly liberal hand-wringing. Um, no, we're not angry. We are um, feisty. We, uh, we do not shrink away from a good fight. We, uh, we, there, there isn't a single issue where, where we say, ah, this is not the worth of our trouble, this is this is an undefensible position. No, 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 no. Uh, we readily acknowledge that we are in the, uh, in a very heated uh, battle, uh, not just in Estonia but in Europe as well. Uh, and it is a it is a cultural war, 
uh, we are seeing um, uh, the neo-Marxists uh, have uh, have basically have uh, taken over the democratic institutions. This is, of course, they've marched through the uh, press, marched through the academy, marched to cultural institutions, uh, and they are trying to uh, make us all. Um, tow their ideological line and uh, this is unacceptable to us and also unacceptable to us is that uh, this process uh, is just one way that uh, whenever the liberals or the left-wing parties take uh, power they will enact some changes and then we can never do anything about it no we will push back and we will retake political ground and of course, uh, you can't do that without uh, a fight. And you can't do that by playing by their rules or being politically correct. And this is a decision that we made a long time ago that uh, political correctness uh, is uh, something that we will not abide by. And um, of course, uh, people who are declaring, uh, every week they are declaring a new word to be unusable. You can't say that. If you say that, you're a racist. You can't say that. If you say that, you're a homophobe. Nuts to that. No, I'll say what I please. And you bloody well get used to it. And um, um, I think uh, words like fascist and racist and homophobe are now so, uh, so overused that they do not mean anything. Every time someone says that I'm a fascist or a racist, the only thing that they're really saying is that I do not approve their worldview. Well, I don't. Well, actually, I see your party, ECRA, is quite a sustainable party. And uh, where do you see yourself in allies of European Parliament? Yeah, well, we've, uh, uh, we've made, we've, we made a decision uh, uh, at least five years ago that we will put a, an extra emphasis on the uh, grassroots. That we have to have a strong organization all over the country for the simplest of reasons that um, this is something that the media cannot take away from us. The, 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 uh, the, this, the membership that goes on the street, that knocks on the doors, that uh, distributes leaflets, uh, uh, and our party newspaper. This is uh, this is to bypass the rigged mainstream media, and also this is the best place to find new talents. This is the pool that we will find new talents and and, and people who will then um, rise to the ranks uh, by being active in local politics and then uh, rising up to the national politics. And of course, in uh, uh, European Parliament uh, elections, Estonia has one of the smallest uh, number of uh, MEPs. Um, we've only got seven and uh, we are pretty sure that we will get at least one uh, mandate. Uh, it, it is not impossible that we will get two mandates, but um, that is if everything goes very well. Uh, but one should be attainable anyway. And uh, <clears throat> uh, right now it is very difficult to say in what group that uh, MEP would be, because I think the, uh, uh, the situation is very dynamic and, uh, and there will be a total rearrangement of groups after the next European Parliament elections. But uh, to say it as bluntly as possible, it will be a group that uh, puts, uh, uh, puts uh, nation-state, national sovereignty, rollback of powers from Brussels to national capitals to, to, to its, um, as, a, as its main priority. So uh, what do you think, uh, should Estonia leave the European Union or is it even possible and what would be the consequences? Um, uh, well, uh, I think uh, we are seeing from, uh, from Brexit process that uh, doing the honourable thing and going by the, uh, uh, the uh, treaties is not a smart way to go. Uh, no, I think the uh, Estonia should do uh, 
do the smart thing and just behave as an independent country. And if they kick us out, then they will kick us out. But they won't, because they hope that one day there will be a better government in Estonia who will uh, be more loyal to the commission and, and, uh, and the entire power-grabbing cabal in Brussels. Um, no, I don't see us leaving uh, in such a way. Of course, when... Um, uh, when the Europe, when the European Union will uh, will drastically uh, go further down the road of uh, of federalization or, or unification or whichever word you want to use, uh, then I think the, uh, the the democratic mandate that the Estonian people gave on a referendum uh, before we joined the European Union. Uh, will have been entirely exhausted and we will have to have a new referendum that asks whether we should stay or go. So yes, uh, this, is a, this is a matter that will come up, uh, uh, I think, uh, not in a very distant future. And um, I think we will have to have a, a very serious uh, national debate in Estonia uh, about whether we can be uh, a member country of a European Union that is not what we joined 10 years ago or, or already 15 years ago. Uh, how do you see the future of Europe? Um, like after 10 or 20 years, do we still have European Union? Or God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't see European Union lasting that long. This is, a, this is another thing that in Estonian political discourse, people say, oh, we want to leave European Union, oh, we want to destroy European Union. Not really true. I, I've, I've never liked European Union. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it has been uh, good for the prosperity and safety of, of Europeans. But um, I think it is, uh, it is so badly stitched up and it is uh, so undemocratic that it cannot last. So it will collapse it anyway, I think rather soon. And, um, and uh, my ideal of Europe is that it is a... It is a conglomerate of democratic nation states that are um, doing uh, uh, intensely uh, doing business with each other and uh, cooperating with each other, uh, whether it's on a bilateral um, uh, level or uh, or somehow in a more organized way, but it should not be a political union. So that will be all. Thanks for answering these questions and we wish you good luck for upcoming elections. Thank you. Thank you.